Here we go. It's called uh, the three-word game. I believe teams can be destro- described succinctly and easily. And we're going to do the AFC today. So I always love the three-word game. And here we go. Let's start with Buffalo. Uh, Allen digs it. Josh Allen gets Stephon Diggs, a thousand-plus receiving guy in back-to-back years. Now, Josh Allen is big and can run. He's got 17 rushing touchdowns over the last two years. That's more than even Lamar Jackson. Big arm. They didn't have a deep threat last year. They've got one. I do think they win the division. Miami, still Tua early. Ryan Fitzpatrick, 38, 16th season, got the starting job. Tua will play. My guess is early November, the schedule lightens up. Arizona in a couple of games against the Jets. Uh, They are rebuilding their offensive front, and the early schedule has a lot of really good pass rushes. So I'd rather see the bearded one take the hit than Tua, who has a well-chronicled injury. New England, Bella checked out season. Uh, Eight players opted out, most in the NFL. Toughest schedule, only returned five defensive starters. You can't tell me the most intelligent, manipulative, and well-planned coach is just winging it. I believe this is part of a one-year restructuring to land a college quarterback. New York, flight's been delayed. Jamal Adams gone. C.J. Mosley opted out. It's been a weird camp where wide receivers, most of them, have been injured. Running backs, injured. I have very low expectations. By the way, it's not easy opening with the Buffalo Bills. That's a a tough opener opener for Sam Darnold. Baltimore, Ravens lose nevermore. I think they have a chance to go 16-0. Won 12 straight to close the regular season. They had a point differential of Plus 249, 249. So this is a powerful team that's going to win a lot of football games. How about Cincinnati? Cincinnati would be your average Joe. Joe Burrow is now the quarterback. Bengals have scored fewer than 20 points in 11 of their last 16 games last year. Number one overall quarterbacks. Only one has had a winning record as a rookie, Andrew Luck who you didn't like and I loved, your average Joe. Cincinnati's not going to be very good this year. Cleveland, Baker's fourth coach. 12 straight losing seasons, dysfunctional ownership in front offices. I like the offensive talent, and I think I like, like Kevin Stefanski. But even if you're a diehard Browns fan, don't you just have to kind of stay quiet and wait and watch? Quarterbacks who go into their third season with their fourth coach, you got to be a little concerned. Pittsburgh, steel curtain closing. Missed the playoffs for back-to-back seasons for the first time since 2012-2013. Big Ben is 38 years old. Do they have a dominant number one receiver? They usually do. The offensive line is good, but in spots it's getting old. I kind of feel like, as Joy often says, it's still a good franchise, but the last half decade, it's mostly about underachieving. Let's go to the AFC South. Houston, huge ton of money. They just paid Deshaun Watson. They should have. But here's more troubling, 106 sacks in the last couple of years, and that's for a guy that's as mobile as anybody When you pay your quarterback, finally, there will be some limitations surrounding the quarterback. DeAndre Hopkins is gone. Uh, I just just think there's too many good teams and well-run AFC teams. I don't think Houston's a playoff roster right now. Uh, Indianapolis, Rivers and Rookies. Well, their passing offense was 30th in the NFL, so they went and got Phillip Rivers. Really good offensive line. But I think the key to this, can Jonathan Taylor, the rookie running back out of Wisconsin, and Michael Pittman, the rookie wide receiver out of UFC, USC, I think these are really important players because the offense last year outside of T.Y. Hilton was not terribly dynamic, not very vertical. Uh, so Michael Pittman and Jonathan Taylor, the old quarterback and the kids, keep your eye on the kids. How about Jacksonville? The Jaguars select 
Fox bet gives the Jags the best chance of having the fewest wins on any team. Eight years of losing out of the past nine. They've gotten rid of most of their good players. It's fairly obvious what they're doing. Our second selection would have been tanking for Trevor. I think we know what the Jags are doing. How about Tennessee? They don't pass. Derrick Henry has increased his carries and rushing yards in each of his last four years. Uh, the Tennessee Titans, basically in the playoffs, took the ball out of the hands of Ryan Tannehill, which I don't think is is the wrong way to do it. They did add Jadavian Clowney. So, you know, this is a team that likes to run, will run, and is increasingly running. Let's go out west, AFC West. Denver, lock you up. Drew Locke. Four and one to end the year. Broncos fourth different week one starting quarterback in the last four years. John Elway, since Peyton Manning is doing his best to find it, it is not an easy position to solve. I do think Drew Locke has the arm, kind of the let it rip mentality, confident, little cocky that I like, and I really like they're tight end, running back, and wide receiver weapons. We forget Melvin Gordon came over from the Chargers. They're good. How about Las Vegas? A grood awakening. Six losses by 18-plus points. Derek Carr, five losing seasons in the past six. Last couple of years, their record, 11-21, and 21, including a ton of blowouts. Los Angeles need a change. Listen. One of two teams, the Cowboys or the other, that were top 10 in offense and defense and missed the playoffs. Oh, did I say need a – oh, yeah, my bad. Need a charge, not need a change. Need a charge. The players are there. We, we know the players are there. Top 10 offense, top 10 defense. That's not – it's like Dallas. We know there's talent there. They need an infusion of something. Is it Justin Herbert halfway through the year? We don't know. Derwin James out for the year. Not good news for Los Angeles. And finally, Kansas City, ready, set, go. Ten-plus wins in five straight years. Listen, we, we forget this. Andy Reid was winning before Patrick Mahomes. They just weren't winning at the next level. So there's our three-word game, uh, AFC, NFC tomorrow. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.